Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori, and today I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. I'm back from vacation. I'm hoping you guys enjoyed the week of Christmas in July. I've got a little Alex over here next to me. Maybe he'll come up. You gonna come say hi to the people? They're so happy that I'm home. Have no fear, my brother and sister-in-law checked on them while I was gone and they got plenty of love and treats. Uh, but they were happy that I was home. And my drink this afternoon is iced coffee, uh, vanilla, hazelnut flavored. Delish. Okay, I've got a Dollar Tree haul for you and some things for my little cousins. I'll show you a picture of them from vacation. Come here you, come on. There you are. All right, um, I will insert a picture somewhere, maybe at the end of my lovely little cousins, um, but I will show you some stuff that I got. Okay, first and foremost, I'm gonna need you to look at this bag. It's llamas, it's a little mucked up because I used it to carry the stuff home that I got at, this is all from the Florida Dollar Tree that we went to. There we go. But look at the llamas. So cute. So I grabbed that bag to carry everything home. Um, I found a book for me. I like this author. Her name is um, Ilona Andrews and she writes, uh, it's like paranormal romance. These are the books I like. I believe this is the second book in a series. Um, but it's regularly $25.99, and I can tell you for a fact that on Amazon, I pay $18 for these if I get them in hardback. Now, I typically borrow books from the library, but for a dollar, I'll buy them. I have, I take that back. I have two series that I do buy the books for, but generally, I try not to because I can overrun my house with books. Anywho, we're going to try some slime. Little Miss Addison and I got these kits. We didn't do it yet, but we're gonna try and see how they work. Why not? So I grabbed a slime kit. Um, for my cousin Debbie, I picked up these containers. I love these containers. I put one of them I keep in my desk at work and it has um, tweezers, nail clippers, a little nail file, things like that in it. I have one in my purse that I keep like ibuprofen, I always I get car sick. So I keep Dramamine with me at all times, especially if I'm a passenger. And I just keep like Sudafed, Tylenol, ibuprofen, Dramamine, and one in my purse. Um, hair ties. Um, the larger ones, I will say, don't click as well, but these little size ones are perfect to throw, especially for travel, in your suitcase, put it in your purse, carry-ons, whatever. So when they're out, I grabbed a couple to share because I know I have some blue ones up, upstairs that are mine. I did not buy this at the Dollar Tree. I just took it because cat fur. Um, I grabbed for Addison, which I need to take back to her house, some of this um, sour, shocking blue raspberry treats, drink mixes for her. Um, I grabbed this game. If you've never played, it is so much fun. Left, center, right. Um, you can play with these chips, but when I have my cousins, we play with candy. I don't eat it, but they do. And at Christmas time, we sit at the table and we'll play board games with the cousins because they spend the night with myself and my niece Sarah and we have a fun overnight trip with them and we play like this and it's like gambling but not really but it's candy left center right it's fun you should play it so I got that and then the one thing I found which I have been looking for it's the teal pumpkin I have no idea what I need this for in my life other than the color is just amazing so I have a ton of white and gold. This may just sit in the middle and be a little pop of color. I don't know, but I love this color. Actually, it would go really well in my bedroom. So I grabbed it because I saw it in Florida and that's what you do, right? You see something and you buy it. And then I bought the bag. So that was everything I got at the Dollar Tree in Florida. 
Um, and then I went today up here. I'm in the process. Oh, sorry, my shirt. I'm in the process of school supply shopping. Um, and so I picked up another one of these tubs. It's a little different than the green one, but this is for Addison for her pens and pencils and things. And then Riley has his own, his is green to keep his pens and pencils in for school. So they'll, you know, for backup, they don't need to take it all to school day one. Um, so I thought, well, that's perfect. So I grabbed that for her and then I picked up these three bags. I'm not sure which one she's going to want. I'll ask her if she wants it. Probably this blue one I'll send with her. Be clever. And they have like a little straight bottom, but they hold pens. They would also hold like crochet hooks, knitting needles, all kinds of stuff. Um, but for her, I'm just going to fill them with some pens just to have for her house. She's, she's like me. We're organized people. So she, this is for her if she wants it. She doesn't have to use it. Anytime I buy them stuff, if they don't want it, they know they don't have to use it. Now, I grabbed scissors she needed for one of her classrooms. They needed a pair of scissors, but they didn't need the safety because she's in seventh grade now. So I just grabbed a pair of Jot. Regular size scissors. Why not? Take the school. Um, I did pick up for Miss Addison these highlighter and pen sets for her. These right in black. Um, so these are the highlighters. And it looks like they're pink, blue, and purple highlighters. So the color of the cap. So not bright yellow. Now she's in seventh grade. She, I don't even know that she needs them. They weren't on her list, but. And then these are the matching pens. And somebody, Nicole Burgess said they write well. So I grabbed her a three pack of those just to have for school. Um, and then I got a pack of these for the kids to share, uh, blue and black, just pens. These come with eight pens each, and I, I'm, I'll break up the pack and they'll each get four blue and four black, just to have. I'll show you what I picked up at Staples, um, if you'd like to know. I have it right here in front of me, actually, so I'll just show you. Um, but these are for the kids as well to have at home, you know, for homework and stuff. And this is the time to buy pens. My cat is over here knocking things off my coffee table and I don't know why. I picked up this for me for my YouTube room and it's a year dry erase calendar. Can you see that? This would be perfect for students, for parents, if you've got busy kids. Um, I got it for my YouTube channel and I will put it on my craft room wall and then I can write, um, you know, what ideas, future ideas that I have and when I would like them to go up. So I need to get that a little more organized. So I grabbed that for me and it has some stickers, which is like vacation, birthdays, all kinds. It's just like a wall planner. Um, and I have a planner for YouTube, but I want a visual while I'm working, you know, like a vision board type thing. So I grabbed that for me. Um, I will tell you this week at Staples, just as a little diversion here for a second, some of the really good deals I got these Vic pens. This is an 18 pack of um, Comfort Grip Precise Comfort in Black. 18 pens. It was $5.99. That is a fabulous deal. Next door at Staples, the four packs were like $3.49. So just as a heads up, I know that it's this week. I don't know how long the sale will be on, but this was again an 18 pack at Staples. was $5.99. I grabbed that today. They have these 12 packs of mechanical pencils. They're Staples brand number two mechanical pencils. They have a nice rubber grip. I think they come with three pieces of lead each. And these were 97 cents for a dozen. And I thought that was great. Um, my high schooler that I'm shopping for, he he's not gonna be about um, putting lead in pencils. But what I might do, I will probably go through here. Let's see what colors they come in. Because I'm fairly certain that he's not going to want the purples. So I'll pull the purples out and, and he can give those to Addison. And the rest are green, gray, black, blue. I think that's red, but he might read that as pink. And if he does, he can give that one to Addison as well, his sister, which is perfectly fine. He, he will have plenty of mechanical pencils, hopefully to get him through the school year. I may stop and get one more box 
just so he'll have plenty because you know he's in high school he needs pens and pencils but so far these were 97 cents and again that's a really really good deal for 12 mechanical pencils target had the sharpies $1.29 not in the back of the store but in their regular stationary section and it's two yellow and orange and a pink and these were $1.29 at target and that's what I do. I just run from store to store and pick up stuff. Um, also at Staples, some teachers want the Expo markers. This four pack was $1.92. So I grabbed that at Staples. And, oh, what was the other thing I picked up for the young ones? Oh, I got these at the Dollar Tree. But it's four and four, so it was actually cheaper to get the Expo, but... I grab some for myself as well, and I grab one for the kids' teachers or home. And this is Bic. So she can take both into her school. Um, what else did I get at Staples? I had something else. Oh, I found it for the young one. Now, this is for Addison. Um, they have these Bic soft feel click pens that come with the colors in the back and then the black three bonus and these were 97 cents so I grabbed her a pack of those um, the fun ones I don't think she'll be able to use the colors at school but maybe for taking notes and things um, but I thought that was fun for her so I grabbed her that and that was 97 cents and then the other things that they had were their staples brand erasers were 50 cents and so she is required to bring in a pack of the erasers as well for her classroom so she's still at the point in seventh grade where they have a list of things they take in for the classroom and then a list of supplies for herself so this is classroom stuff and, and she'll sort it all out um yeah and then i got her at the dollar tree just a four pack of mechanical pencils but i also got her some refill leads because this is a lot of lead this is 60 pieces of lead for a dollar and then these four little pens I thought these were cute mechanical pencils for her um, she also has to have Ticonderogas these were 97 cents at Staples for the 12 pack but these are for her for the classroom I got her ones to take in that are um, Target brand just she has to donate for the classroom and then I did get her some of these pens at the Dollar Tree if you missed that haul these are zebra brand. These are great pens and these write in purple and blue. So again, the color pens are just fun. I don't know that she can use them at school, but she can use them. And then I got her a student planner, which I think I have showed this before, but this was also from the Dollar Tree and it's a month at a glance. And I think this is a great starter for any kid that needs to have themselves organized. It's a nice big monthly glance. It's the school year and it's a dollar. So I got her the cats because well duh cats and she can put her information in there she can do this for homework assignments and all of that so that is everything i have for today i hope you enjoy and have a good one talk to you later bye, 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 bye. i'm back from vacation oh, oh. have a good one Say bye, Alex. He doesn't.